Check this out. You can make a duplicate key using your smartphone. I'm going to tell you how to do it coming up next. I'm Leah of CJ Drill. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a duplicate car key using your smartphone. Now, some of you may be saying, well, wait, wait a second, Leah, I don't know anything about how to work on cars. And what I will tell you is this, if you can stick the key in the ignition and turn it, you can make a duplicate car key. Now many of you, like maybe myself, I've been driving with one key because I lost the duplicate. Well, nowadays there's just no excuse not to make your own. So why don't we just, why don't we get right to it? Let's get started. To make my duplicate key, I'm using Tom's Key Company. You can find them online. Now it's a blank, sort of. It's not programmed to your car when you order it and this is how it works. You want to take a picture of your existing key. Now you got to have the original key to make a duplicate. So you want to take a very very clear picture of your key and upload it to the site. You'll also select the make and model of your car and then your key can be cut. They'll send you a key that's been cut but you still have to program it to your car. Once you receive your key and before you program it, you want to make certain that it was cut properly. And the way to do that is to test the key first in the car door. You insert it and if it turns, then you know that the key has been cut properly and now you can move on to step two and that is to actually start programming it. Now some cars require an external programmer like this one here. Just plugs right into the OB2 port. Now our car doesn't require this but if your car does no worries because Tom's Key Company well they'll provide one with a small deposit. Now let me show you how we're going to program our key. So this is our original key this is the duplicate. It's not programmed yet. Now to program it, you take your original key and you insert it in the ignition. You want to turn two clicks. One, two. And you're going to look for your security light to go off. Now remove the key and insert the duplicate. Turn two clicks. You're going to wait for the security light to go out. It's out. Your key, it should be programmed. Now we're going to turn it off and we're going to start the car. Here we go. Ready? Check that out! How easy is that? That was pretty now we easy! We have to make certain that the features on the key are programmed as well. This is the original. This is the replacement. Let's see if the door lock works. There we go, let's unlock. Nothing could have, I, I wasn't even prepared for how easy it was. I thought it was gonna be really complicated. Now you really don't have an excuse for making that duplicate key that you lost. Beyond being DIY friendly, it's pretty inexpensive too. Now the key to the Chevy Sonic cost $107. Call was made to a locksmith and I learned that that same key would cost $227 plus tax. Now what I'll do is, this is not a sponsored video, but I'm going to place a link in the description below so you can check things out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can, well, do this. See you next time.